Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. <clears throat> All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant in his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole truth, the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would the world be if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There'd be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. <clears throat> We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch in all chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus, but even if you did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. <clears throat> Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in the world. You tear apart the baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside. But there is a veil covering the unseen world, which is not which not the strongest man, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived, could tear apart. Only faith, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernal beauty and glory beyond. <clears throat> is it all real? Ah, Virginia, in all this world, there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus? Thank God he lives. He lives and lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. It always makes me want to cry. Um, it's just really beautiful. That's um, so that was an editorial written by Francis P. Church in response to um, a little eight year old girl writing a letter to the newspaper he worked at um, asking if Santa was real. And magic is real. These unseen things that we fantasize and wish were real, that beautiful magic, that magic that we all seem to be able to hold on to in childhood and it seems to dissipate as we become older and older, that is real. The energy, the spirit of Santa is real. Energy is real. The spirit and energy of St. Nicholas is real, and it expands into Santa Claus and every other beautiful, magical thing we can think of. What I'm getting, what I am and was getting from my spirit team as I was reading this, when it's talking about um, if there was no Santa Claus, there would be no childlike faith, no poetry, no ram romance. Um... Uh, what it's really highlighting here is we should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. And that's um, a really beautiful key point right there. That was the key point in this whole thing. Because then the next part goes, the eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. 
So the key point that is we would have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. Our senses, our sight, this isn't real. The only thing real within it is love. What's in here, what's within our imagination, our consciousness, that is what's real. We are conscious energy. Everything, all is God. And God is literally the vibration energy of conscious, pure, unconditional love. So what it's talking about is when we zoom out with, with, with this editorial and what is being said here, you don't have to talk about it just being Santa Claus. You know, we're talking about faith, belief in magic, knowing that magic is real and true. The, the unseen things, again, that we sometimes have a hard time believing and knowing that is real. Um, you know, we and we've been trapping ourselves in these loops of illusion of just the physical we've we we insist on limits within this but we are limitless and again the only truth is love and so when we just focus in on just the physical and the material what has that done we've we've spun ourselves into this whole space of illusion of utilizing you know the tools illusion tools of judgment and ego um when we go inward and we tap into what's really here and how big this all is, all the stuff that we haven't been able to sense yet thus far in our own perceived timelines of this melting illusion into reality. Um, you know, oh, I just, I'm kind of losing it, Eric. Where was I going with that? Help me with my train of thought, please. Um, sorry, hang on. Just give me one second. So basically, Eric's saying, yeah, just go with that. <laughs> um, ding, yes, I'm, they're kind of, they've, they, they've kind of, they, my team, myself has me kind of blocked to go in a certain direction with this. So basically the main point of this, this little part here is just talking about, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, we're melting away this illusion of the fact that we're limited and we're limited by our avatars and we're limited by the physical. Um, and, and again, truth is coming online, which is love, joy, happiness, abundance. Um, so there would be no childlike faith and no poetry, no romance no, to make tolerable ex this existence. The truth is love. Um, and basically saying, yes, spirit energy god source whatever label you want to put on it is giving the reminder of putting yourself in that place of childlike wonder awe faith you know feeling that magic again and play be childlike we don't just cuz you're an what what we call an adult doesn't mean you have to be rigid you don't need to dress up in a suit and and keep yourself all done up and your hair tied up tight all the time. And, you know, you have to abide by certain patterns and ways of living. No, no, we don't need to do that. Play, let yourself be in that mode again. And that brings this all helps to bring all this back online. <clears throat> um, and then. Right. Thank you. They reminded me we also wanted to touch on. Um, oh, I just realized. I do that too often. Um, I, um, the, the, the one part that we wanted to touch on as well is when we, they talk about things that, you know, what we can't see are real, like nothing that men nor children can see. <clears throat> we can see, we can see fae and fairies and spirit and all of it. It's just, we have these illusions and these blocks and resistances and we're melting those away. We're all here. The fact that their separation is illusion. Um, and so it's, it's not that these things can't be seen. We just choose not to see them. And we're choosing now to start to see them. And children can and do tap into seeing these things. It's just another, again, it's just a really good way of explaining how what's in within us within our imagination, um, what's really real is the unseen the physical the physical isn't real 
it's energy. Everything is energy and it's boundless. Is that the right word? There's no, there's no boundaries to it. It's not, it's not limited. And the only truth to it is love and it's beautiful and it's magic and it's, it's beyond. So, um, so, and, and as I'm reading this, you know, as we're reading about Santa Claus being real and the energy, I'm going to, it very much is, it's, it's, I can feel how it's really, we can focal in on it being Santa Claus specifically, but it really is just, I can feel how when we zoom out with this editorial, it really is talking about just what all this actually is and how God's source love is real and having faith within that and <clears throat> being in that mode of play. Like it says, <clears throat> no Santa Claus. So as in no magic, no belief, not even belief because belief brings in mistruths um and illusion so you know so when it says no santa claus no belief no love uh not belief <laughs> because belief the thing is belief is a really good stepping stool we can you can utilize belief but it really is going into truth we we're, we're it's switching from our beliefs and we're bringing truth online so instead of no santa claus we could also utilize you know no no faith no love no magic no no childlike play wonder and awe thank god he it lives and lives forever a thousand years from now nay 10 times 10,000 years he it will continue to make glad the heart of childhood and again when i'm reading to make glad the heart of childhood it really is it's it's I'm seeing like the collective and bringing light and joy and truth and love back on. And it is so beyond frustrating because what I'm seeing and feeling is beyond words right now. It's literally just it's so much feeling. I can't express it except just again, childlike wonder, awe, excitement. Like it's like you're about you're about to go to Disneyland for the first time as a kid, you know, like it. it but it's even more beyond that and Eric it's um it's beautiful magic is real what's actually here is limitless and it's nothing but love and I'm excited I'm excited to see where this is all headed because I have an idea but I know that it's only it's it's I know I don't really know how big and amazing this is and is where it is headed and actually is and it's exciting is santa real what's not real anything that's not love so there you go all right i love you guys all very much and as always have a wonderful now